الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'm shooting this video um, just to give a little bit more information about a, a concept that many people seem to be uh, using or running their lives with or by but they're doing so um, very unconsciously and they're unaware of what it is that they're doing uh, and why it could potentially be really quite uh, harmful for them and for their lives. There's an old Greek uh, fable or story uh, and out of which arises a concept and this concept is of making things procrustean. Now what does that mean? Well, according to the story, there was a Greek man who owned a hotel or a bed and breakfast and uh, this man was um, mostly very generous and whenever someone would come to stay the night he would offer them food or hard food etc and um, they would uh, uh, whoever was with him would feed the person and then they'd offer them a place to rest a bed now if the person fit the bed perfectly then that was fine and they slept if the person was too tall then this inn owner or this bed and breakfast owner what he would do is he would cut the legs off of the person who was coming to stay now if the person was too short then they would stretch the limbs out you know from the, tying the hands and stretching the, the feet out so that so that the bed would fit perfectly now as horrendous as this sounds, this is actually what most of modern day self-help and psychology is all about. As horrendous as that sounds. So instead of <clears throat> figuring out what you need in order for you to be happier or more successful or to achieve a particular goal, what happens is that when you go to your average life coach, for example, or your average therapist, what will happen is that they will take their textbook out and they will then run you through a series of algorithms. Those algorithms are designed to make you fit into the textbook in just the same way that the Procrustean method would elongate the person so that they would fit into the bed if they were too short or it would cut their legs off if they were too tall for the bed. In much the same way, these Procrustean methods, what they do is they don't treat people as individuals. Instead, what they do is they treat the book or the textbook as a thing that everyone else needs to fit into. And of course, that takes away from the humanity of the whole thing. And, you know, people are different. I've yet to meet anyone that was similar to anyone else. Even twins is just not the case. So, as interesting as this is, there's something that's even far more horrendous than this. And that is that we have been taught through schooling. I mean, when someone's um, just started secondary school, or even before that, people will ask, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to be when you, when you grow up? And we're already asking people to fit into a particular bed. We're already asking people to fit into a particular bed. Now, education is supposed to be the process of drawing out, you know, bringing out something that's found within the person, but what it's turned into today is just an industry of creating particular cogs. And so, you know, if you have a part of you that's a bit too long or a bit too short or doesn't quite fit the way it's supposed to fit, you know, it gets sanded off, it gets cut off, it, you know, it gets changed, it gets... Whatever happens to it, it changes. So, the, the, really, the, the really interesting thing though is that people now, I mean, with the 1% Club for example, I get asked, well, what are we going to be learning? What are we going to be learning? People want me to create a textbook and then people want me to make them fit into that textbook. And what I'm offering is not a textbook. What I'm offering is a direction. A direction that includes personal development, a direction that includes sharia, a direction that includes energy work, body work, the mechanics of how the body works from the inside out. All of these things, you know, with regards to martial arts as well. And yet people are asking me for a Procrustean list 
of things that they want that I want to teach them and the, the, the thing is I have the direction that I'm going in and then every session will be different because I'm going to be running it in London on Friday then I'm going to be running it in, in Birmingham on Saturday and then I'm going to drive all the way up to Edinburgh and run it in Edinburgh on Sunday and I guarantee you that each one of those sessions will be different yes they'll have the same structure but they'll be different because the people within them are different. I also guarantee you that if I was ever to run the same thing again with the same people, it would be different because they've changed. By that time, they've changed. Have you ever read a book and then you reread it again after a year or um, maybe two years or five years, even a month? It doesn't matter. The book's different. The content within that book is different, even though it's the same. Now, that's because you've changed and so therefore now you're seeing things differently and you're reading things differently. So now imagine that the textbook itself kept changing and you kept changing, then definitely you would get that which fit you best in that precise moment. So just a little bit of a caution as well as an explanation about what it is that I'm doing and why I'm doing it in the way that I'm doing it. You know, try and avoid the Procrustean method as much as you as much as you can. There are some things of course where you know, everyone needs to sleep, right? So, in terms of sleeping, that has to be, you know, it's kind of mandatory on everyone. But everyone has to eat as well. But what you eat, how you eat, these things, uh, there's a lot of flexibility with them. And so please, um, if you know me, and you know what I do, and you're on the newsletter, or you read my posts, then you know how I think, and you know the types of things that I like to employ within my work and what I do. That's enough. That's that's enough. Okay, you know the type. You know the four categories or five categories that we're going to touch upon: martial arts, um, you know, Sharia or Islamic studies, as well as personal development, energy work, um, and goal setting or goal achievement. Right. That's it. You don't need to know more than that. If I was to set that out more than that, it would begin to be procrustean. So I hope you can use this in your life. If you haven't signed up for the 1% club yet, uh, please do. You can do so online as well, by the way, um, where um, it, we will get access to the audios, but then we'll also have tele-seminars for the releasing of emotions, for uh, the, 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 the specification of goals and, and how to achieve them on a bi-weekly, on a, on a fortnightly basis, sorry. Um, as well as if you have any questions or answers, uh, inshallah. So, hope that makes things a little bit clearer. And um, I look forward um, to seeing you or answering any of your questions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.